What's well, right, guys? Here I'll be taking a look at Cesar Montes, the 18-year-old center back who starts at 68 overall. Very strong physically, very promising young Mexican player. Uh, glad to bring him to you guys here. Six foot four center back, so very big frame, right foot, medium, medium work rates. And you'll see again, sh very strong, has good jumping. Stamina is very good as well, which is good to see. Uh, he's not too slow or anything. His pace isn't too bad in all honesty either. And uh, marking looks solid. Passing looks like he'd be decent as well as tackling. So. Uh, and heading accuracy is actually pretty high, 70, 70 at the moment. So uh, that's very good to see as well. He was very dangerous on set piece. He's actually one of the few, you know, defenders I'm actually going to have a highlight on because he did score a tremendous goal, I have to say. Uh, so tw year 2020 up to 74 over. You could get his growth up a lot quicker in all honesty because, you know, defenders, they grow very quickly, it seems like, you know, with player training. If you train the right areas, I'm basically just defending and maybe throwing a little bit of short pass and uh, heading in volleys. But uh, physical stats did go up, which is very good to see. Uh, makes him even uh, stronger and his mental stats look very good even for 74 over. 85 interceptions, 84 aggression is tremendous. Now you'll see the one to highlight if um you probably may have seen it before if you watched another player growth test from this week. But it's a very good header from him. Dangerous on those set pieces, scoring a tremendous header again. His heading accuracy is very high. So he can certainly, you know, challenge on these types of uh, free kicks, uh, corner kicks, and all that. Um, you know, whip the ball in from this spot. So he gets to be very dangerous uh, there because he's very, you know, some very big frame can head that ball in with a lot of accuracy, a lot of power. Uh, he did start to decline a little bit in year 2025, unfortunately. Strength did go down to 80, 80, uh, excuse me, and then he has aggression and interceptions, however, are great regardless um, in marking tackling. Very good. So you probably do want to train, you know, his marking tackling a bit because that is fairly low, I have to say, for a 79 overall. But, uh, you know, the mental status is really what brings him up. And they would unfortunately, you know, go down in year. Uh, when he was at age 30, so 79 overall is what he would cap out as. Uh, so I think you guys, with training and the like, you get him up a lot better in his marking and tackling. But uh, he grew very nicely in his physical stats, especially strength. He got even stronger jumping as well. So uh, it's kind of the weird balance of trying to figure out how much training to do and all that. Uh, just really depends on, uh, you know, because there's you can overtrain players. That's one of the things. Um, that and that can really hurt physical stats and growth in other areas other than the, the stats that you, that you train and like so it's a bit interesting um i'm sure you guys will find the right balance i do recommend him he looks like a very good cheaper option uh you could get him for a good price and he will surely contribute and be very dangerous on both sides of the ball in my opinion especially on those set pieces and can defend pretty well stepping in those passes with that great aggression interceptions with that guys thanks for tuning in i'll be signing out now and i'll catch you guys later